Welcome back. Now we are going to start our discussion on design aspects for sheet metal cutting dies. And first we will discuss scrap strip layout. The major portion of the cost of producing a stamping is the material. So material cost is a major cost whenever we are producing a product and that is true for sheet metal working operations as well. Therefore, economic stock utilization is of high importance. The layout of the scrap strip is critical from the cost standpoint. So we have to make the scrap strip layout such that uh, the material utilization is maximized or leftover scrap is minimum. Secondly, the scrap strip layout is also a good place to start when designing a die. So scrap strip layout also is an important decision from die design point of view because uh, we are deciding the orientation of the blank or orientation of the part that we are cutting. So that also determines the orientation of the punch and die. So scrap strip layout is also important from design point of view. It is necessary to consider the spacing between blanks when laying out the strip because spacing between the blanks also affects the material utilization. So ultimate objective is to minimize the surface area of the leftover scrap or to maximize the material utilization. Generally speaking, uh, there are two uh, options for scrap strip layout. In first option, what we call wide run layout, the blank is oriented side that uh, the width required to make the blank is greater and the length required is less. The second layout is called narrow run layout in which uh, the width required is less. The width of the strip required to make the blank is less, but the length required is greater. Of course, there are other options as well, but these are two simple options to start with. So a wide run layout, and a narrow run layout. So we will be focusing on these two. When the thickness of the stock is greater than 0 0.025 inches, uh, the value of A is uh, found to be uh, using, uh, use A is found using this formula. So A is actually the distance from the edge of the blank and the edge of the sheet. So A is edge, uh, distance from the edge of the blank to side of strip, T is the thickness of the strip and D is the width of the blank. But basic idea here is that this uh, distance from the edge of the blank to the edge of the sheet should be greater than uh, the thickness of the sheet. And then we have the value of B, that is the spacing between blanks. So that is very important uh, to be decided as well. And that is found using this table when the thickness of the strip is greater than 0 0.025. So we can use this table to find the value of B. And if the thickness is less than 0 0.025 inches, then this table can be used to find the values of both A and B. So the number of blanks which can be produced from one length of stock is uh, found using this formula. So N is equal to P minus B over S. Now P is the length of the starting strip and S is the length of strip needed for one part. And that is equal to length of the blank plus this B, distance between the blanks. So that is the length of strip needed for making one part. And we are subtracting this B because that is the starting B that was not used in the calculation. So we are subtracting that to get an accurate result. So the scrap at the end of the strip after making n number of blanks is E and that is equal to P minus n into S plus B. So that is equal to starting length of the strip minus the length required to make n blanks plus this starting B. So that is the ending uh, scrap 
that is not utilized to make the blanks. Percent scrap is A minus B over A. Now here, uh, and the percent utilization is B over A into 100, and A is the area of the starting strip. The starting strip has a length P and with W, so its area will be P into W. And B is the total area of the blanks that we have cut. So that is N into area of one blank. That is percent utilization and 100 minus percent utilization is percent scrap or percent scrap is starting area minus uh, and starting area of the strip minus the area required to make N blanks divided by the starting area of the strip. So this was uh, some basic uh, terminology, basic formulas. Now we will use these formulas uh, in this example. So the part shown below is to be made using blanking. Use two scrap strip layouts, a wide run and narrow run. Assume the size of the sheet available to be 48 into 120 inches. So that is four feet into 10 feet. Four types of strip layouts, wide run and narrow run, calculate the number of strips that can be cut from one sheet, the number of blanks per strip, the number of blanks per sheet, area of unused strip, percent scrap, and percent utilization. So let's first assume wide run layout. So the blank will be cut in the orientation shown. So we will place the blank in this orientation. So the blank will be cut in this orientation. So we will have something like this. So this is, for example, the first blank that will be cut, then the second blank, third and fourth and so on. So this is the orientation of uh, the blank when it will be cut. So that is the wide run layout. Sheet available has a size of 0 0.02 into 48 into 120 because thickness of the part is 0 0.020, so we need to have a sheet of this thickness and width is 48 inches and length is 120 inches. How many strips can we cut from this sheet using wide run layout? Now the size of the blank in the vertical direction is 4 plus 0.5, so this 4 plus this um, 0.5, that is 4.5. Uh, five zero. So this is, sorry. So this is this length is four point five zero. So this is four point five zero. Now from the table, actually, the A turns out to be point one two five. So you may recall that A is the distance from the edge of the blank and edge of the strip. So this is A. So this small distance on both sides. So this turns out to be 0.125. So that is 0.125. We have to add this 0.125 on both sides. So the width of the strip required for one blank is this 4.50. The size of the blank in the vertical direction plus 0.125 plus 0.125. So that is the value of A on both sides. So that turns out to be 4.750. So the width of the strip required for one blank is 4.750. And just recall that we have a starting sheet of this size. So the starting sheet has a size 120. That is the length and 48 is the width and the thickness is 0.020. And the length of the uh, strip, sorry, the width of the strip required for one blank is 4.750. So this is 4.750. So I hope you are following. So this is the side, size of the sheet and this is the width of the strip required to make one blank. So the question is how many strips can we cut from this starting sheet of size 0 0.02, size of 0 0.02 into 48 into 120. So we need, we will be able to cut a certain number of, number of strips like this, 
in order to make this part. So how many strips can we cut? So that will be simply equal to 48, the starting width of the sheet divided by 4.75. So how many strips can we cut from this sheet using wide run layout? That will be 48 over 4.75. So that turns out to be approximately 10 strips. So we will be able to cut 10 strips of size 4.75 into 120. So size of a size of a strip that can be cut from the sheet is this one as shown. So such 10 strips can be cut from a 48 into 120 inch size sheet. So now the question is how many blanks can we cut from one strip like this? How many blanks can be cut? And how many blanks can be cut from one sheet? So you may recall that this is the orientation that we are discussing. So length of the strip required for one blank is L plus B. So S is equal to L plus B. So L in this case is three and we are taking B to be equal to A that is 0.125. So that turns out to be three plus 0.125 is equal to 3.125 inches. So number of blanks per strip is equal to starting length of the sheet that is 120 that is also the uh, length of the strip minus b over s. So this is the formula that we discussed. So that is 120 minus 0 0.125 over 3.125. So approximately 38 blanks can be cut from one strip like this. So again the b is the distance between the blanks. So total blanks per sheet, the starting sheet that we had, that had a size of 0 0.02 into 48 into 120 inches, uh, they will be equal to number of strips per sheet into number of blanks per strip. So we were able to cut 10 strips and 38 blanks per strip. So we will be able to cut 380 blanks out of this sheet of this size. So the next question is what is the area of unused strip and what is percent utilization in percent step? So area of one blank will be equal to this. Now how we have come across this, uh, these values? So let's first take the total area. So we have a rectangle like this. So that area is three into four. So this total area is three into four. So this three into four, but we have to subtract some area out of this, but before that we have to add these two half circles. So that is pi r square over two. That is the area of this half circle. And this half circle is also pi r square over two. Uh, so we are multiplying by two. So pi r square by two multiplied by two. So this is the area that we are getting. The area of the rectangle three into four plus the areas of two semicircles. So we need this this much area, this one. But by multiplying three by four, we are actually having some additional area. So that is to be subtracted. So that will be equal to, uh, first we need to subtract this area, this one. So this is also a rectangle. So that is having a size of 1.25 this, and this side is one because radius is one over two. So this total, this side will be equal to one. So 1.25 into one, so that is to be, subtracted. Similarly, the area of semicircle is also to be subtracted and that is this area, this area of the semicircle. So that is simply pi r square over 2. So that is this area. And finally, this area is to be subtracted. So that is also a rectangle of a size of uh, 1.25 and 1.125. So by subtracting these three areas, uh, first this uh, rectangle, this one, 
1 by 2 5 into 1 then semicircle pi r square over 2 and finally this rectangle of a size 1.25 into 1.125 we are able to get an area of 9.73 9.734 inches square so that is uh, the area of one blank so if a is the area of the starting strip and b is the total area of the blank skirt then area of unused strip will be equal to starting area that is a minus total area of the blank skirt so starting area of the strip is 120 into 4.75 minus we are able to cut 38 blanks out of one strip and this is the area of one blank so we will be getting 570 minus 370 so that is the area of unused strip that is 200 inches square percent cap is starting area of the strip minus area of the blanks cut divided by starting area so again this is the starting area of the strip minus area of the blanks cut divided by starting area of the strip so that is 35.1 percent and percent utilization is 100 minus 35.1 or area of the blanks cut divided by area of the starting strip so that is 64.9 percent so in this way we can uh, calculate how many steps we can cut out of a starting sheet how many blanks we can cut uh, from a strip and the unused area percent scrap and percent utilization but just bear in mind that this percent scrap and percent utilization uh, we are we are calculating per strip so these are not the calculations for the whole sheet because we might have slightly different values uh, but these are the calculations for percent utilization percent scrap and area of unused strip for uh, for 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 each of the 10 strips so please keep that in mind in the next segment we will discuss uh, how we can uh, make similar calculation for a narrow run layout and then we will compare the two layouts. Thank you very much.